Hey guys, this is LEGO Channel 561, and today we have a review of the Fire Brigade. This is set number 10197. It has 2,231 pieces, and it is for ages 16 and up. And this modular building is currently retired, and um, before it was retired, it cost $150, but now that's going to change, because once the modular buildings retire, they go up for high value, so it's going to be hard to get one right now. So, um, that's why you want to get the modular buildings, um, before they retire. Because they don't, they never go on sale, so that's kind of that. So, now we're going to look at the first floor of the fire brigade. So, here's the first floor of the fire brigade. As you can see, you do get the three at the bottom. You do also get a nice flag. You get some nice detail up top with the helmets. You do also get a light. You get a tree, a working door. And then you do also get the garage, which says open, and when it does, it comes out with a classic fire truck, so I think this is a pretty cool vehicle sure to come with. You got the nice ladder, seats too, and then you do also have some pumps and stuff in the back, so you know, just a nice car and nice detail on that. And then you do get some nice windows up top, and it just looks very nice. And now we're going to look at the inside of the first floor. So here's the inside of it. I know you can't see a whole lot, but I'm trying to get the light on it. So you got the stairway, got a nice little clock there, the doorway which goes inside, the garage, the fire pole. You also have the helmets and the um, what is it, the pump or the air oxygen tank in the back. And then in the middle there your car goes, so I'm going to show you from the back what it looks like. But yeah, this is pretty much the bottom floor. It's just like where all the stuff is for when they go. They just get the stuff and go out. So that is the first floor of the fire brigade. So this is the back of the fire brigade in the back. It's just mainly where the car goes when the garage is closed so it doesn't have to back in. So that just opens up right there. Then you see, so you just slide it in, and it fits like that. So the back isn't that special. You just got, you see the gray base, but you got some grass and some dirt probably. And you do have a lot of open, exposed studs. Like here, you have these two studs are exposed. You don't even really use them for anything, so it's kind of weird. And up here, this is exposed, but this can also come off, so you can get a better look at the inside of it. But um, I don't know. The back isn't the best, so. Um, luckily when you have modular buildings you don't really see the outside and here's just a view another quick view of the inside from the back I know there's not a lot of light in there but yeah so that is the complete first floor so that is everything that sh happens and goes on with the first floor so here's the second floor there's some great detail on here. You got the sliding or shingling here. You got the nice mud guards for the cars. You got a nice little railing here, some windows, and just a bunch of nice stuff. I'm going to turn it around. So there's a lot of just of the Technic pieces that are kind of exposed. So you shouldn't see it if you put this next to something. And then the back, it's just more windows that are the same. And then for the inside of it, yeah, this is kind of like the hangout zone or like where like all the fire people hang out or spend their time when they don't have um, like to save someone's life or something. So in here you got the stairway leading up from the first floor which is right here and then you got a stairway leading up to the roof. And then over here you got a uh, bookcase or shelving unit kind of over there. I'm going to shine the light. You got the two minifigures playing ping pong. So that is a great little accessory or detail right there. Then here you have a fridge right there. It does open. It's kind of hard to open sometimes. Uh, let me open it. There we go. So it does open. You have some sausages or hot dogs in there, depending on what you want to call it. So I'll just put the minifigure back. 
Then you do have a chef right here. He's got a stove. And then he's also got some cabinets and some drawers. And then here's the pole where they go down F to get to the car. Because this is kind of their hang-up zone. So that's where they're mainly going to be. And then you do also have the couch, which I showed you. Um, it's just a nice, simple little couch. Um, they didn't do any tiling on the floor. Most modular buildings don't have tiling on the floor. So that is just a look at the second floor of the fire brigade. And then here is the roof. You got the classic 1932, which is kind of tricky to build, but it does look cool because you have a bunch of di bricks going different directions, so that was kind of hard to build. And then you do have some nice shingling or sliding right here, um, some detail to hold up kind of like the roof. And then you do have the bell, so this would be ringing when an alarm goes off. And you do just kind of have the top of the roof to like set it off. And then you do kind of have like a water spout or gallon or whatever. I think this is what, where they would hold the water to get it from. And it's obviously probably just like a drain here to go and lead the water so they can easily just fill it up. And the back isn't that pretty because you see like, like all the stuff, a bunch of stuff to make the 19 what was it 1932 and then you do also have just some tiles back here some holes and stuff like that but then here you have a door that leads from the second floor so you can easily just access the roof and it'd be all good and you could easily you know get to the roof get some water or just have a nice view of your lego city so the last thing we're going to look at is the minifigures. You get four minifigures with it and one dog. So here is just like the lady or um, I don't know, maybe like person in need or just kind of like a random civilian, you know, walking around. Maybe this could, you know, go on the outside of your um, fire brigade or just in your city. She does have a plain smile on her face. Just kind of, kind of like a nice handbag or purse to go with it. So that is the lady or civilian. Then you do also get a dog. Um, I do like this dog. I don't know what kind of dog it is, but it's just all brown. And, uh, it looks very cool and it can actually, it can stand on the Lego brick. So that is another cool thing. Then here is just a firefighter or fireman or whatever. Uh, he's just got the same torso as all three of them and get the camera to focus. He's got a smile face and a nice little haircut. Uh, they do not have any back printing on any of them. Stand it back up. And then here we have a chef. He's got a nice chef hat and then just the same torso and a smile like all of them do. And then you have the girl firefighter. She's just got a nice little hair piece. Um, and just the same torso as all of them. So there are the minifigures that go with the fire brigade. So that is the fire brigade and everything that you get with it. It is a great modular building to put in your city because you have a fire station. And every city needs a fire station whether it's a Lego city or a real city. So... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this modular building review. Um, I know I don't review a lot of the modulars. I only have three of them, but the um, the pet shop is the next one I will be reviewing. I just have to finish building the actual pet side of it. And then the Grand Emporium, um, I was going to review it, but I forgot to and I already made changes to it. So I'm not going to put the changes back because it took some time. So... Um, it's just going to be in my city with the changes, but, um, there are a lot of people who have reviewed it, but probably will show you what it looks like before I put it into my city, and that's what I'm going to do with all these modular buildings, show you the changes that I make to them before I put them in my city, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this modular building review, please comment, like, and subscribe, and let me know if you want me to review the pet shop, if you like me reviewing these modular buildings, I know it's kind of a long video, and does take some time and it's hard to do them because they're so tiny and detailed and you can't really get your camera in it and it's kind of hard because they're also kind of tall too so 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.